Come on. All set. Next stop, Monocro. Home to Excess, the Extreme Consumer Electronics and Science Symposium. Experimental race cars. Lasers. Airplanes. You bet, old friend. And Monocro is said to be the final resting place of the elusive Maltese MacGuffin. Lost during Netherworld War II, this ephemeral heirloom is so rare that no one has ever laid eyes upon it. Whoa. So what is it exactly? The stuff dreams are made of. No, but like, like is it a statue or? <laughs> Come on, Uncle Donald. You can fix the houseboat when we get back. Uh-uh, I'm almost done. We'll be on the water again in two days. <laughs> Seven days. <sighs> I should get started. No rush. Granny, you're coming too? I have 987 vacation days saved up, and Monocro's Blackwater beaches are legendary. It's high time I wilded out with some maxing and relaxing. Hmm? I have the coolest grandma. Sure. Now who's ready for the best vacation ever? ever? Oh, you'll get it. <laughs> Six months ago, if you'd have told me I should take in a group of youngins... I did. I would have called you daft. But I tell you, I haven't felt this energized and vital since... Well, a long time. Load up, everyone! Psst, psst, hey. Did you get it? Come on, kids! To our greatest adventure yet! Woo! To adventure! Sorry, Mrs. B. Only seat I could find. Seat belts? Oh. Um. When we crash, it can be used as a flotation device. When we crash? Long time since you've been in the field, eh, Agent 22? And this plane would have been dangerously outdated even then. I'm counting one, two, three, fourteen safety violations. Ah, oh, come on. Every time the Sun Chaser goes down, she always gets right back up in the air. Every time? I allow the children to travel with you because I assume you're keeping them safe. Ah, James, Launchpad! Give the old bird a tour of the old bird to show her there's nothing to worry about. I'll take the wheel stick thingy. Sorry, when did you learn to fly a massive cargo plane? Please, I'm Scrooge McDuck. If Launchpad can do it, how hard can it be? Not very. Our tour starts down at the tummy of the plane. Let me know if this gets too technical. I sweet top quack faster down at Scrooge's secret archives. That lady is nuts! And I got her to give us this. Start at the corners and work inward. No, Huey. Each mysterious piece holds a secret. Listen closely and they'll tell you where they go. It goes there. Okay, so what do we got? The documents shredded on the week we were born. According to the note we found in Castle McDuck, that date is connected to... The Spear of Selene. The mysterious unknown thing your mom took from Scrooge. Somewhere in these pieces are the answers Scrooge doesn't want us to find. What is the Spear of Selene? Why didn't Scrooge and Donald talk for years? What happened to our mom? Nothing can stop us. No! Oh, come on! Where's the last piece? It's gotta be here somewhere. <gasps> there! Aha! Nothing can stop us! Stop, stop milking the, the moment! Where'd it go? Whoa! 
What just happened? Where are the children? Quick! If they find out we're researching his darkest secret, Scrooge will shut down our investigation for good! Are you children all right? Inconspicuous whistling. Just a casual whistle. Oh, you want here a nautical patchwork contraption? Will you fly already? McDuck! I leave you alone for two minutes, and you crash the plane. Well, if we crashed, then why are we still in the air? <laughs> of all the irresponsible... Not even a real crash. Oh, quit your havering. It's just a teeny 10,000 meter speed bump. I'll have a safety on the trail of the Maltese MacGuffin by morning, or my name isn't Scrooge McGuire! <laughs> And you've blown out an engine. Ah, that happens all the time. Right, launch pad? Yes, but usually I crash like two seconds later. We have to get out and figure out how to get down. And pass up the adventure of a lifetime? And risk all our lives? Ah, you're safe as houses. This is nothing. The plane could be on fire, or we could be on fire, or this could be a volcano. Everything could be on fire. This is a flagrant breach of training, protocol, and just basic safety precautions. Is this what you're doing when you take the family on road trips? Oh, get over here. I have here. no idea why you thought this would be a good idea. This Honestly, is we bad. seem to have hit some, um, turbulence in the cockpit here. Everything's fine. Please enjoy our in-flight entertainment. Now what? Now that! We'll use the Jeep's engine to jumpstart the Sun Chaser's propeller and we'll be on our way. What could be safer? Calling for help? Climbing down on our own? Not starting a car inside of a plane? We've got to get that piece without anyone noticing. We'll need some kind of distraction. <sighs> Fine, follow my lead. <laughs> All set up here, Mr. McD. See here, Bentina. I have taken these children on countless adventures, and they have never once had cause to worry about their safety. Uncle Scrooge, we're worried about our safety. Now, Louie, I have always looked out for you. Why worry now? That's such a potentially embarrassing moment for me. I know we've been in tough spots before, but this one seems really tough. He's right. Given the altitude, the condition of the plane, and the weather patterns, we have a 1 in 17 million chance of surviving. Wait, really? I, I mean, yeah, scary. And usually on our expeditions, there's some kind of curse or villain that you can outwit. But you can't outwit gravity. Yeah, y yeah, yeah, that that's right. We're all gonna die. We're, we're worried about our safety. We gotta go now, now, now. Now? No! Never crashed a jeep in a plane before. Into a plane, sure, but... Launch pad! You need to counterbalance the plane! Everyone to the front! Go, go, go! What is in here? Nothing! Secure the hatch! Thanks, Mr. McD. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen while Scrooge McDuck is around. Mr. McDuck? Kids? Mrs. Bickley! Sorry, I just thought I could keep the blame circle going. <laughs> Must you blindly gallivant around with no clue what you're doing? <clears throat> Irony. <laughs> if you can't listen, I can't keep you safe. 
Except, of course, I can because I am Scrooge McDuck and I am very good at what I do. From here on out, you have to stay put. We just have to get it. Nope. Nuh uh. Nothing is getting me out of this sea. What if the plane catches fire and we have to evacuate? Come on. That puzzle piece may be our best chance to find out why Della disappeared. Maybe. Beg your pardon? It's just, you said that in the archives and on Ithaquack, and how can we know for sure? By grabbing the piece. Guys, this is the greatest mystery of our lives. We can't solve it if we're dead. We'll be fine. Scrooge isn't going to let anything bad happen to us. Stop moving! See? This couldn't get any worse. This is you, Captain. To take your minds off our potentially grim fate, please enjoy another action-packed Darkwing Duck video. The tape player seems to have been damaged in the crash. Enjoy! Here are those dirty laundry bags you wanted, Mr. McD. Launch pad, these are parachutes. A pair of what now? <sighs> Mr. McDuck? Mr. McDuck? <clears throat> Scrooge! What? All I have to do is climb out onto the wing to jump start the propeller myself, using these heavy parachutes as counterbalance out the other side of the plane. Leaving us with no emergency equipment. Please, for the safety of your family, admit you cannot fix this. Nonsense. Nothing bad is going to happen to her. Her who? Eh? The uh, kids. They'll be thanking us by the time we land. Launchpad, hand me another parachute. Launch pad. Besides, the kids are having the time of their lives. Junior Woodchuck Rule 18. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. I thought that was Newton. Where do you think he got it from? Science? Okay, I'll call out the steps. Got it? Got it. Nope, bad idea. Terrible idea. For Mom. Ready, steady. Do we left? Step, step. Huey right. Step, step. Do we right, Huey left? <laughs> Please, we all believe you are a very capable adventurer, all right? Stand down, 22. I am still your boss. <laughs> What's bad? No! Truth about Della Duck. Nothing can stop us. Look at the stupid paper already! Dewey! What the blazes? What have you got there? Not secrets! Literally the worst answer you could have given. Give it here. <gasps> no! <laughs> get back here! You'll get yourself killed! Stop speeding through the plane! <laughs> oh, that is not what I meant, and you know it. Leave me alone! Come back here this instant! You three, counterbalance the weight! Save your life! Now come back here, or I will end it, young man! No! So close! Oh. 
Oh, no. Oh, children. What have you been up to? It was just before you were hatched. Your mother, your Uncle Donald and I had been going on amazing adventures for years, and things were grand. Except, we'd been just about everywhere. Ever the aviator, your mother devised a plan to explore the greatest uncharted territory of all, outer space. <gasps> Della had already been all over the Earth. She wanted to give you boys the stars. Donald thought it was too risky, especially with you three on the way. So, I did the only logical thing. I built the rocket and didn't tell Donald, or anyone. It was meant to be a surprise for Della to celebrate your birth. But your mother was always good at sniffing out surprises. She found the rocket and decided to go for a little test run in orbit. Neither of us could have predicted that cosmic storm. But we both knew a little pangalactic precipitation wouldn't stop her. After all, she was Della Duck. Trust me, Kiltz was that girl stubborn. I tried to talk her through it. Thought if anyone could make it, it was her. Until that very last bolt. I couldn't keep her safe. The rocket and your mother were lost to the inky abyss of space. Your Uncle Donald and I never spoke again until you three showed up on my doorstep. Cool. So you're the reason our mom is gone. What? No, I, I... Um, guys? You built her a crazy dangerous super rocket, which she stole early. Then you encouraged her to keep flying through a cosmic storm? You could have called her down. There were too many variables. Now, boys, you don't know. And you're the richest duck in the world. Why didn't you send up more ships to look for her? I spared no expense. Yeah, right. Cheap old Scrooge probably bailed as soon as it put a dent in his money bin. Um, guys? Take it easy, Dewey. He may have a point. Even if gifting an experimental rocket to a mother of three was clearly a terrible idea. This is a family matter. You are not family. See here, McDuck. You will not speak to my granddaughter that way. You will not speak to me that way. None of you. After everything I do for you, you're all nothing but trouble. Guys, this is your captain speaking. We are falling. Wait, what? <laughs> Huh, that was weird. Whew. There we go.
That's so slow that what? Ta-da! She's all done. Uh, what happened to you? We know about the spear of Celine. Oh. Mm, let's go back to the marina. Uh, uh. Isn't he even gonna say goodbye? We're taking those vacation days, if that's all right with you, sir. Fine. Well, you've successfully pushed your family and everyone who cared about you away. Again, I hope you're happy. and our mom is gone. Cheap old Scrooge probably bailed as soon as it put a dent in his money bin. Well, you've successfully pushed your family and everyone who cared about you away. Again. I hope you're happy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> 